they had him. They told us they had him and they let him walk out. Maggie Bitu's family once again in anguish, voicing their pain for the first time since learning the man accused of killing the 31-year-old nurse escaped police custody. They are demanding answers. There's gross negligence. We are disappointed. We're very, very hurt. B2's boyfriend, Kevin Kenyethe, was under arrest in his native Kenya after fleeing there from Boston. Police say he murdered B2 and left her body inside a car parked at a Logan Airport garage. Police say Kenyethe's lawyer wanted to meet with him in jail as he awaited extradition. And the officers agreed to his request and removed the prisoner from the cells and took him to an office, leaving them there. After a short while, the prisoner escaped by running away and left the lawyer behind. He should be under somebody's supervision. He should have been in his shackles. With the glimmer of hope this family had for justice now gone, they lean on their faith as they grieve the loss of their family member. Someone will get him somewhere. That is our prayer. While they wait for their prayer to be answered, they remember B2 for her smile and good heart. Maggie's body is still calling us to fight for her justice. She was part of us. She loved her. She meant everything to us. I asked the family if they have received an update from Kenyan authorities on this new search to find Kenyethe. They told me they had no comment on that tonight.